the, the reality is by expanding out like this, usually that's done through developing new kinds of traditions. An example, for example, in our family, um, I wanted to get wisdom from all my brothers and my sister and their kids. So I first said, let's, let's um, everybody send in their, the, uh, an experience that they had over the last 12 months that they learned the most from. And I'll collect them, put them all together, send them out, then we can develop a bank of all these wonderful experiences that I may see something that you're doing that I hadn't thought about doing, and you could be, you know, let's start something. That went nowhere, like herding cats, okay? It was just terrible. Then this tablecloth took over, made all the difference in the world. So I came up with this idea, and I said it was between Thanksgiving and Christmas, New Year's, I went and bought one of those great big tablecloths and spread it out. So we put it out on our table. And whenever a family member came over during that period of time, which starts with Thanksgiving, so we get a lot of our family at our house at Thanksgiving, I said, I want you to trace your hand on it, write down an experience that you had during the last 12 months and what it meant to you, and write it in your hand. And then just date it. So what we got that first year was everybody's hand there and the discussions that were on in the room we're not why can't Detroit win a ball game because it's, you know, Detroit usually plays on Thanksgiving. But the discussions were, what did you do here? This is really cool. And the little kids, you know, were drawing their hand on there. And my dad, that's the one that's most meaningful to me is to see my dad work his hands on there, you know. And on his, on, and so we've done this now for, uh, we've gone through three tablecloths and we can get about two to three years on a tablecloth. With as many, even with as many kids and everything else, when you use every little square inch of it, and the kids come back the next year and they measure their hand, and then you'll find that somebody put their girlfriend on from last Thanksgiving, and they're like, oh, I didn't want to, can I cross that out, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? And so you get a lot of dialogue on it, and then we photograph them so that we, in case something happened to it, we've got them all organized by story that we, we photograph them. And, um, but like my dad passed away this last um, spring, and on his, on his uh, program was the last hand that he traced. And on it, he said, he just got out of the hospital at the time, and he says, I'm so grateful for doctors and that they can make me better so that I can spend more time with those people that mean the most to me, my family. And, you know, I mean, and it was handwriting good, and his thumbs are bent because he was a catcher, and you know, and, and when he was younger, in his younger days, so he's got broken fingers, and there's just all kinds of stories just around his hand. But there's his hand that's on the thing, you know what I mean? So here's a tradition that's become a way of capturing the experiences that are, you know, going on. So it, it's, it's a way now that our, our cousins, for example, um, uh, if, if they can't, because we have some cousins that live far away, if they can't make it to our house, or we don't go to their house, if we go to their house, we take it, we ship it. They call us up and say, can you ship the tablecloth down here? Because our kids are demanding that we get it. So we ship the tablecloth down. We've done that three or four times now where we ship it down, they ship it back. And then we put the old ones out the next year. You know what I mean? So they're coming back. They can look all the way back. But what we've done is we've started to stretch out that. We don't have any common businesses. We don't have any common other things. But we have all these incredible experiences that allows us to capture it. So when we go this way, if they're involved in the business, yes, it gets a little tougher because you have extreme allegiances this way that are a lot stronger than this way. So you have to take that into consideration. And these allegiances that go this way are impacted by new relatives, my wife and her family, or my husband and his family. You see what I mean? So it, it's not like they're not pure. <laughs> you know, they're, they're a little bit. So you have to take all of that into consideration. The easiest way, though, to develop new systems is through traditions and rituals. And if we can develop traditions and rituals around that, it's amazing. It's, it's a painless way of not having to preach to the people to get it done.